Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Eo and this is my very first YouTube vlog. In this video, I am going to talk about what it's like to actually be a guitar major in the UST. Being a music student is an actual degree and for it to be an actual degree, you have to meet the requirements of CHED to have the basic general subjects it requires. When I was a student, I of course had statistics, algebra, psychology, all those stuff. So aside from those, you're going to have your music subjects. Uh, I'm not going to name everything, but what I remember right now is solfeggio, um, large ensemble, mm, what else? Um, One eternity later. Music listening, history of music, forms and analysis, theory, and a bunch of other stuff. But um, I'm going to talk about specifically what's in there for you as a guitar major, okay? So once you enter, you're going to meet your professor once a week um, for one hour. So that's your major instrument, okay? Which is guitar, I'm assuming. So once a week, and then as far as I know from my experience, there were eight levels when I finished my degree. Okay. Uh, was in the eight levels that we have so levels one and two there's no exam but um, the goal is to know the basics of classical guitar like knowing where the notes are across the fretboard um, knowing your simple dynamic changes everything basic about reading the sheet music okay so you're gonna have to deal with a lot of etudes um, what else do you have to deal with? Oh, um, we are using the Kerkasi um, method for guitar. And then you can help it with other references such as the Pumping Nylon by Scott Tennant. And of course, a ton of music listening, okay? So next, um, level three, okay? I'm giving this a special moment because this is the first time you're get ever going to have an exam with a set of jury in front of you. So the setup will be, you will be in, in the exam room with around three to four guitar professors and you will play everything that you prepared maybe for a year or two. Um, in my time, it consists of, I think, um, 10 etudes or 11. And then I had to pick between Lagrima and Adelita both by Francisco Tarrega, okay? Um, it has a simple form and also the level is challenging. You start to do a little rubato and whatever. So um, that's level three. Just so you have a glimpse of um, what the main piece are, uh, is, um, this is a part of Lagrima, okay? So... <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, by the way, level three, you just get a pass or fail, okay? So, no numbers. I guess it's also good you get encouraged that, hey, I passed without even knowing if you were barely hanging. <laughs> so, moving forward, um, oh, of course, level four. <laughs> Why do I have to think of what's next to level three? <laughs> okay, so level four. Um, so I actually couldn't remember. I was messaging my friends last night um, what, uh, what the requirements were in level four. But what I clearly remember is I played all the stylistic eras present in um, uh, music, okay? I had Renaissance, Baroque, Classical, Romantic, and then um, Modern. And then I f I'm sure we still had some etudes to uh, practice so again if you are ready you take the exam um, in the exam room again same setup with jury uh, this level is the beginning 
where you play all stylistic periods. So if you see, the challenge is playing longer pieces, memorizing longer pieces, and trying to make a sense out of the music, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's the challenge for every level, but generally it's longer for this, um, this level. From my experience, level four, I scored 1.0. So I was really, really inspired at this moment. Um, I, I really worked so hard and I attended all the master classes I can attend. Um, and it was worth it. So just expose yourself every time you have the opportunity, okay? So that's level four. Um, some of the pieces I played were... Uh, oh, uh, okay. So this is the, the modern piece I played. Mm -hmm. I guess for um, romantic, I played Cancho del Liadre. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So, um, somehow like this. Yeah, something like that, okay? Um, I also played Rondo by Sor, but I don't. I honestly don't remember how to play it anymore. <laughs> it was like um, seven years ago. That's a glimpse of level four. Um, okay, so now that we're done with level four, we are in level five. So level five is also. Uh, I think it's one of the more memorable levels in my experience, because level five it has two specific requirements. I think. I had to play a tremolo study and a speed study. So those two uh, made it more challenging. Um, and then, um, if I remember it right, the only piece I remember I played in the stylistic periods is um, Sonata by Giuliani, okay? So I'll, I'll try to show you a little bit. Okay, so this is the sonata I played for classical period. Okay, that's a bit of the Giuliani sonata, and then what else I remember? Um, oh, uh, there will be a special etude also. I think you are required to take B minor etude and the D major etude by Sor. Okay, so B minor is... Okay, that's B minor. And then D major, I think, is like this. It's, it's something like that. Oh, and then um, for my tremolo study, this is the level where you learn um, the technique where you use P-A-M-I. So I played Recuerdos de la Alhambra, okay, by Francisco Tarrega. So this one. Yeah, a little of that. <laughs> Okay, so you still have speed study, which of course I can't play right now. It's so early in the morning and I haven't played my speed study in ages, but I played El Colibri by Julio Sagreras. Now we move to the next level, okay? Provided you pass, that's good, congrats. Level 6. So level 6, um, I think, okay, if I remember it right, I took it in summer. So in level 6, uh, you still have your 5 stylistic periods, of course. I played Fantasia by Doland, number 7 to be exact. I also played the 998 Fugue in D major. I loved it, and it was so difficult also. Um, and also, you have to play for classical specifically. You can't play any long piece. You have to play 
um, a piece written in variations form okay so what I played was um, the ver Mozart variations by Soar uh, it goes like this that one okay which has that one I guess and uh, a lot of variations like something like that also okay so those are the Mozart variations um, and then for for romantic I played Julia Florida by Agustin Barrios and then for my uh, modern piece I played Usher Waltz by Nikita Koshkin okay Usher Waltz is Asher Waltz is um, the one with this. Wait, it's this one. Something like that, okay? So, uh, to sum it up, level 4 I got 1, flat 1. Level 5 and 6, I got 1.25. These two were really difficult levels, in my opinion. Um, especially the etudes part okay that made it really challenging for me um, level 7 okay this one starts to become more special because level 7 you're gonna have to do it in an actual concert okay we call it the junior recital so since this is a full-on concert you're gonna have to rent a venue okay it can be the one of the recital halls at the fifth floor or you can do it in the museum so I played the prelude fugue and allegro um, of BWV 998 okay this it's all in D major and then I played Grand Solo by Fernando Sor this is written in Sonata Allegro form um, and then I played Hungarian Fantasy by Johann Kaspar Mertz lovely piece and then um, how do you call this Oh, the next one, you have to play a modern piece. I chose a Filipino piece. It's also in variations form. It was arranged, it is arranged by Maestro Jose Valdez. It's Sarumbangi, okay, the variations. And um, I played, oh, in the end, you're gonna have to play one of the fast movements of a concerto of your choice, okay? So for me, I chose the Concerto de Aranjuez. So, I did the first movement. Um, maybe you guys are familiar. The, the first movement is uh, with... Wow, something like that. <laughs> so the last movement will end your junior recital, okay? Now, um, now that we're done with level 7, aka junior recital, um, we're gonna move forward to the last level, level 8, which we call in the, uh, in the conservatory the graduation recital. What's in there for you for the graduation recital? Technically, this is your thesis defense, and you really, really have to prepare for this. Um, okay, but nonetheless, my piece is... That the pieces that I played in my graduation recital are the fugue from BWV 1000, Luigi Legnani's Fantasia. Um, it's uh, this one. Uh, um, that one, okay. So next I played Reverie by uh, Julio Regondi. And then um, followed by uh, Tres Pietas Españolas by Joaquin Rodrigo. He's my like most favorite guitar composer. Okay, he's blind. He's he wrote in, using the piano for guitar. It's just crazy, crazy difficult. Um, and then lastly, the highlight. Okay, although all the pieces can be your highlight, because I mean this is my favorite recital among all. I can play a very nice program according to my liking but it has to be approved by my professor too but I loved it so um, in the end remember you played one fast movement of concerto for 
your junior recital, right? So for this one, you're gonna have to play. You have to play completely the concerto that you chose. So first, second, third movement of Alan with I did, okay? And uh, I was lucky enough to be able to share the stage with um, my collaborating um, artist, Sir Ding Dong Fiel. Search him up. He's a, an excellent pianist. Okay, so I didn't have an orchestra, but I, it seemed like I have an orchestra with me. <laughs> so um, how did I structure my graduation recital? I opened with the fugue followed by the fantasy. And then I have an intermission, okay? Because it's just tiring. Um, after the break, I played Reverie and closed the second section with Tres Piezas. So, and then another intermission to prepare myself for Concerto de Ranues. So, this marks the end of your bachelor's degree. So that's a brief um, walkthrough on the eight levels in learning classical guitar in my conservatory. There are more challenges, of course, academics related, but as far as guitar playing is concerned, this is what you're gonna have to expect. So thank you guys for staying with me in this entire walkthrough with regards to how it is like to be a guitar major in UST. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more classical guitar content in this channel, so please stay tuned, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Bye!